So in this video series, I'm going to show you how to get started with car animations in Blender. This tutorial series will be divided into three parts. In this first part, I'll be teaching you how to rig your very own car model in Blender using a free add-on called Rig a Car. In part two, I'll teach you how to animate your rigged car on a road path. Finally, in part three, I'll teach you how to model a basic highway overpass, texture it, and then we'll set up world lighting for your car animation. Then I will guide you through how to render out your final animation using cycles. We're gonna be using a Blender 4.1 and you're gonna need two other things before we get started. First, you're gonna need the Rigify car add-on. This is the add-on we'll use to rig our car model. Unfortunately, they did not update the Rigify car add-on for Blender 4.1, but luckily we have a YouTuber named Jean Yan 3D who fixed the add-on so we can use it for Blender 4.1. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for the add-on. Make sure you download it. And then I also want you to download this add-on right here. It's called Blender Kit. Again, link in the description and then save it to a folder. I save all my add-ons in this add-on folder here. So once you have both those add-ons downloaded, uh, go back to Blender, go to Edit Preferences and make sure you install the add-on. So go to the add-ons folder or whatever folder you saved it at and then download the Rigify car add-on or sorry, install the Rigify car add-on by hitting install add-on and also install the Blender kit add-on. So once you have both those add-ons installed, make sure they're checked right here. Then Blender kit, make sure Blender kit is also checked. There we go. And then save preferences and then you, you can close out of that. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so hit A and then X to delete everything. Then go to your Blender kit search bar and type in car. Hit enter and then we'll type or we'll check mark free first and then we'll search for a realistic high quality car model. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Ford Mustang GT right here. So drag that in like this. We'll close out of that and click on the empty here and make sure the car is facing the minus Y direction. That's very important for the rig a car add-on to work properly. And then we'll hit N and then we'll just center out the car. So it's directly in the middle. Boom. And then we can just delete the empty because we don't need it. And now this next part is very, very important. We need to name each part of the car correctly. Well, just the, uh, just the tires and the body. So the rig a car add-on can work properly. Now, if you go to the rig a car add-on, it tells you how to name each part of the car correctly and organize it like this. So follow along very closely. I'll show you exactly how to do this. So let's start with the front tires. So let's select this tire here. Uh, again, we are in the minus Y direction. So select this tire, hit F2, and we'll name it to wheel, or sorry, we gotta have the car name first. So Ford dash wheel dot front dot left, enter. And then we will go to the other side and then we'll rename this to F2 and then we'll do Ford dash wheel dot front dot right, enter. And then we'll go to the back F2 and then we'll do Ford dash wheel dash or sorry dot it's dot again follow along closely do the dot here and then uh, bk for back and then dot this is the right boom okay and then we'll select this f2 and then forward dash wheel dot back dot left okay so make sure uh the wheels are named correctly take a second to just check and see if it matches mine right here. So once you've confirmed, let's move on to naming the brake pads. So let's first select each tire by holding shift, hit H to hide them. And now let's name these uh, brake rotors and the brake pads. Now, here's the thing, the brake rotors and the brake pads are connected and we need to separate them. So let's first 
make sure any modifiers that are on the object are applied. So right now it looks like there's a mirror modifier applied. So let's go to the modifiers and apply the mirror modifier and the weight weighted normals modifier. It doesn't matter. Just apply it. And then let's go and hit tab to go into edit mode. And then let's go to wireframe and let's select this part right here and then go back to object mode and then hit P and then separate selection. Now go back to object mode and now they are separated. Well, these two are separated. Now we got to separate the brake pads from the brake rotors. So uh, go back to the tab, hover over this circular thing and hit L and then P and then separate selection. Now, if you go back to object mode, the brake pad and the brake rotors are separated. So now we just need to rename the brake pad. So F2, we'll do forward dash wheel brake. Again, the capitals are the capitals are very important. So follow exactly how I'm typing it here. Dot front dot left. Okay. And then same on this side. We got to first separate the brake pads and the brake, the brake rotors. So uh, tab, uh, hover over this, hit L and then P and then separate. And then go back to object mode. And then we'll rename this to uh, Ford dash wheel brake dot front dot right. Enter. And then same process in the back. Apply any modifiers and then go into edit mode wireframe, select this part, P to separate selection, and then go back to solid view, and then go back to object mode, select only this one, this object here, go back to tab, L, P, separate selection, and now we can rename this to forward dash wheel break dot back dot right. And then same on the side. L, P, separate selection, back to object mode, select this, F2, and then forward dash wheel, break, dot, back, and this is the back left. Okay, now let's just make sure everything is named correctly. It doesn't hurt to confirm, so take a second. Well, first, let's just select each brake pad. Select each brake pad by holding shift. Hit Alt P to clear any uh, parent. So now they are separated. So again, this is what your collection should be looking like so far. And now let's go ahead and hide all of these wheel parts and hit H. Okay, now we gotta rename the body. So right now the body is, so for some reason, the body is the top hood here, which is incorrect. So let's just hit A to select everything, Alt P, uh, clear any parents, and then we'll rename the top to top hood because that's correct there. And now select your uh, Ford Mustang collection here. Click on that. Hit Shift A, add in a cube empty, and let's just scale it to the proportion of the car. So S Y, then let's just something like that. S C, and then hit A to select everything, and then make sure the uh, empty, the cube empty, is the last one selected. So it should look like this uh, orange color here. Uh, Control P, and then parent it to the object. And now we'll rename this to this empty to uh, Ford dash body. This entire thing will control the body now. So control C, we'll put it back in place. And now we can bring back everything. So hit Alt H to bring back everything. And now this is what your collection should look like. Okay, and also I forgot to attach the brake rotors to the wheels. They're currently, I think, still stuck to the body. Yep, they're still stuck to the body. Okay, so to fix that, let's just first select each brake rotor by shift clicking each of them. Oops, shift click the rotor. And then hit Alt B to separate it from the body. Now they're over here. And now we gotta attach them to the wheels. So they spin with the wheels. So let's first select this one here and then shift click your wheel 
and then control P, parent object. And now they should be attached. Nice, they are. And then we'll do that for the rest of the wheel. So let's just click this and then shift click this and attach it to the wheel. Nice, control Z. And then we'll do this back as well. And this, okay, nice. Cool. All right, now take a second and make sure your collection matches my collection right here. Uh, once you've confirmed that it matches my collection, uh, we have to do one last thing, which is select each uh, brake pad here. Shift click each one and then right click and then set origin to geometry. Boom. Now we are good to go. Uh, I'll do one last measure. So let's just hide the car body. Uh, hit A to select everything. Control A, apply scale. Now bring back the car body and then hit A to select everything and then shift A and then armature. And if you install the rigor car add-on, you should see this option here. So click that. And then if you go to wireframe, uh, you should see a bunch of bones on your body or your, or your car body that looks like this. So let's just bring this big giant main bone. If you open up this menu here down. Yeah. And then bring it forward a bit, actually. Something like that. That's fine. And now we can close this. And then with your car, uh, let's go back to solid view, by the way. Uh, with your car rig selected, hit N, go to the rig a car right here. And if you followed along exactly what I did in this tutorial, it should rig the car properly once you hit generate. So for the moment of truth, let's do this. Generate. <laughs> Let's just make sure the rig works properly. So let's select the suspension. Let's move that. Nice. It is moving properly. Okay. Uh, Control Z. Let's select this part here and let's rotate it by hitting R and then Z. Nice. Okay. And the wheels, the wheels are rotating along with the car, which is what it's supposed to do. And let's make sure the wheels spin properly. So let's just select this and then R and then X, I think. Yeah. And they spin properly while the brake pads stay still. Okay, control Z. I think we are good to go. Um, congrats, you rigged your very first car model with the rig a car add-on for free. Again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like, and if you want access to these project files, these tutorial project files, feel free to check out my Patreon. I just started it and yeah, you get a bunch of cool perks. It's only three bucks a month and you'll get access to all my project files because I'm going to be making more tutorials like this. This is fun. Okay, next tutorial, I'll teach you how to animate this and set up your car environment. Stay tuned.